Hello, NCAC sports fans, and welcome back to another episode of This Week in the NCAC. I'm your host, Brett Bilhart. On this week's show, we'll celebrate those student athletes who were named NCAC Athletes of the Week in their respective sports for the week ending on Sunday, November the 3rd. We will also provide brief previews for the NCAC Fall Sports Tournaments that will be contested this week. We'll open this week's show with a brief recap of the 2013 NCAC Cross Country Championships that took place on Saturday, November 2nd at the Robertson Athletic Complex on the campus of Allegheny College in Meadville, Pennsylvania. In the women's race, Oberlin saw four of its five scoring runners finish in the top five to earn the league's women's to earn the league's women's cross-country title for the fifth year in a row with 45 points. Ohio Wesleyan followed close behind in second with 57 points, followed by Kenyon in third, Denison in fourth, Allegheny in fifth, DePaul in sixth, Worcester in seventh, Wittenberg in eighth, and Hiram in ninth. Denison senior Olivia Galano captured the individual title and was named the NCAC Runner of the Year, after she covered the wet and muddy 6K course in a time of 23.07. In addition, Ohio Wesleyan's Sarah Fowler earned the Newcomer of the Year honor as the top freshman finisher in the championship field in sixth place with a time of 22, excuse me, 23-23-9. And Oberlin head coach Ray Appenheimer was voted the Women's Coach of the Year for the fifth year in a row and the sixth time in his career. In the men's race, all five of Wabash's scoring runners finished in the top 10 as the Little Giants topped the championship field for the second time in program history with 30 points. Allegheny, the 2012 NCAC champions, was second with 46 points, followed by Worcester in third, Oberlin in fourth, DePaul in fifth, Kenyon in sixth, Ohio Wesleyan in seventh, Denison in eighth, Wittenberg in 9th, and Hiram in 10th. The Men's Runner of the Year award went to Allegheny senior Bobby Over for the second consecutive year after the Wadsworth, Ohio native traversed his own 8K home course in a time of 26:35. The NCAC Men's Newcomer of the Year went to Mason McKinney as he was the top freshman finisher in the race in 14th with a time of 27.45.5. In addition, Wabash head coach Roger Bush was voted the Men's Coach of the Year for the second time in his career. NCAC cross-country teams will return to the circuit on Saturday, November the 16th for NCAA Regional Championship races, while the NCAA Division III National Championship race is scheduled for Saturday, November 23rd at Hanover College in Hanover, Indiana. Let's now shift our attention to the pitch and first celebrate the achievements of both our men's and women's soccer players of the week. The women's award went to Denison senior goalie Andrea Carl, who posted a pair of shutout wins last week over Oberlin and DePaul to help the Big Red secure their position in the NCAC tournament. The Powell, Ohio native turned away one shot in DU's 4-0 victory over Oberlin and then capped off the week by securing four saves and her 30th career shutout in a 2-0 victory over DPU. The men's award also went to a netminder as Oberlin senior goalie Brant Rental collected the honor after leading the Yeomen to their first NCAC tournament appearance since 2006. Rental, who resides in Croton, New York, pulled down six saves in the Yeomen's 3-1 victory over Allegheny on Wednesday and then closed out the regular season with a spectacular 15-save effort in a 0-0 draw against Kenyon on Saturday. And now let's briefly preview the 2013 Men's and Women's NCAC Soccer Tournaments. The winner of each tournament does receive the NCAC's automatic bid into their respective NCAA Division III Soccer Tournament. For the first time in conference history, there are tri-champions in women's soccer, as Allegheny, Denison, and Wittenberg each finished the conference regular season with 17 points. The Gators did emerge as the number one seed for the conference tournament via the head-to-head tiebreaker, while Wittenberg is second, Denison is third, and DePaul is the fourth seed. Semifinal matches will take place tomorrow, November 6th, 
with Allegheny hosting DePaul at 2 p.m. and Wittenberg entertaining Denison at 7 p.m. In the men's tournament, Ohio Wesleyan will be the top seed for the sixth year in a row after winning its 22nd NCAC title this fall with 23 conference points. Kenyon earned the number two seed with 21 points, while Oberlin landed the third seed with 18 points, and DePaul is the fourth seed with 17 points. Men's semifinal matches will also take place on Wednesday, with Kenyon hosting Oberlin at 2 p.m. and Ohio Wesleyan entertaining DePaul at 7 p.m. The winners of semifinal matches from each gender will meet on Saturday in soccer tournament championship matches at the site of each gender's highest remaining seed. We'll now shift our attention to field hockey, where DePaul senior forward Paige Henry collected the Player of the Week award after she helped DPU earn a share of its third straight NCAC title. She scored three goals in the Tigers' 6-1 triumph over Wittenberg on Saturday to earn the weekly award. DePaul shares the 2013 NCAC field hockey crown with Denison after both squads finished the season with 13-1 marks against league foes. The Tigers did earn the tiebreaker over the Big Red for the top seed in the NCAC tournament via the coaches' tiebreaker system. Kenyon will enter the tournament as the third seed with a 10-4 record, while Worcester secured the fourth seed with a 7-7 league record. Semifinal games will take place tomorrow, November 6th, with DePaul hosting Worcester at 2 p.m. and Denison entertaining Kenyon at 3 p.m. The championship game will take place on Saturday, November 9th, at the site of the highest remaining seed to emerge from the semifinal round. The winner of the NCAC Field Hockey Tournament also receives the league's automatic bid into the NCAA Division III Field Hockey Tournament. We'll now take a brief step inside and celebrate the achievements of DePaul sophomore setter Faith Rolls, who was named the NCAC Volleyball Player of the Week after leading the Tigers to a 3-1 record at the Benedictine Tournament. In 12 total sets on the weekend, the Chesterfield, Missouri native totaled 114 set assists, 30 digs, 9 kills, 5 block assists, and 4 service aces. She was also named to the all-tournament team at the event for her efforts. And now, let's briefly, briefly preview the 2013 NCAC Volleyball Tournament, which will take place this Friday and Saturday, November 8th and 9th, at Wittenberg University in Springfield, Ohio. Wittenberg earned the right to host the tournament after winning its 8th straight and 19th NCAC Volleyball Championship all-time with a perfect record of 8-0 against league foes this fall. There was a three-way tie for second place in the final league standings at 6-2 between Denison, DePaul, and Hiram. However, the tie was broken via the head-to-head -head tiebreaker with Hiram earning the number 2 seed, Denison the number 3, and DePaul as the 4th seed. Rounding out seeds 5 through 8 in the NCAC Volleyball Tournament are Oberlin in 5th, Worcester in 6th, Kenyon in 7th, and Allegheny in 8th. The tournament begins on Friday afternoon with two sessions of quarterfinal matches. In the 4 p.m. session, number 3 Denison takes on number 6 Worcester, and number 4 DePaul squares off against number 5 Oberlin. The 7 p.m. session will feature number 2 Hiram taking on number 7 Kenyon and number 1 Wittenberg squaring off against number 8 Allegheny. On Saturday, consolation semifinals will be contested at 10 a.m., semifinal matches at 12 p.m., the 7th and 5th place matches at 3.30, the 3rd place match at 5.30, and finally, the NCAC Volleyball Championship match at 7.30. In addition, there will also be a ceremony following the semifinal matches to recognize graduating seniors as well as the 2013 NCAC All-NCAC teams. And like the other fall sport tournaments, the winner does receive the NCAC's automatic bid into the NCAA Division III Volleyball Tournament. And finally, we'll close this week's show on the gridiron and recognize the achievements of the NCAC's Offensive and Defensive Player of the Week recipients for football. 
The offensive award went to Wittenberg senior quarterback Reed Florence for the second time this season after he helped the Tigers retain the Ye Old Skull trophy by defeating NCAC rival Ohio Wesleyan 55-17 on Saturday in Springfield. In the victory, the South Charleston, Ohio native completed 23 of 29 pass attempts for 357 yards and three touchdowns, and he also rushed eight times for 58 yards and two additional scores. The three t touchdown passes pushed his career total to 62, which is now one more than National College Football Hall of Famer Charlie Green's previous school record of 61 set in the 1964 season. On the defensive side of the ball, Worcester senior linebacker John Battaglia collected the Player of the Week award after tallying a team-high 13 tackles in the Fighting Scots 27-24 come from behind victory over DePaul. His tackle total included eight solo stops, five assists, and a half a sack. The win did ensure the Fighting Scots of their first winning record in league play since the 2010 season. And fans, the first place tie at the top of the NCAC football standings will finally be broken this weekend as a showdown between Wabash and Wittenberg is set to take place in Crawfordsville, Indiana at 1 p.m. on Saturday. And fans, as always, for up-to-date news, stats, and standings from around the North Coast Athletic Conference, you can log on to our website at www.northcoast.org. Also, be sure to follow us on Twitter at NCAC, as well as like us on Facebook. And for the entire conference staff, I'm Brett Bilhart, and thanks for watching.